Okay, welcome to lecture 22. So in this lecture, um, we're going to talk about interpolation. And the main reason why we're going to do that is because after our discussion of numerical integration, um, we've only calculated the solutions to our differential equation problem at discrete points. And we want to find the solution also at the intermediate points. So just as a recap of where we are, um, what did we do last time? We looked at these second order ordinary differential equations. Um, we vectorized our Runge-Kutta Runge um, method, also introduced uh, an adaptive step Runge-Kutta method, and then applied that to the Hermit equation, to the problem of a, a baseball with uh, air drag, and to the physical pendulum, um, as opposed to the ideal pendulum. So even with our adaptive step Runge-Kutta method, um, we still only obtained values at discrete points. So the question is now, can we determine the values at any point in between? Um, and why would we want to do that? Um, well, let's say we're trying to find um, the integral of our solution, or we're trying to um, integrate our solution maybe with another weight function applied to it. Or if we're trying to find the minimum or the maximum of the function, then we might need to be able to treat our solution as a as a continuous function not a function that only exists at the points that we've calculated it so that is what we are going to be using interpolation routines for um, to be able to interpolate between the discrete points at which we've calculated the function so just as a reminder um, we had our Runge-Kutta fourth order function um, that we rewrote the solution for and then for example here for the physical pendulum we took as our right hand side function um, now a vectorized function which, ha which has two um, components the zeroth component and the first component of course they're dependent on each other the, the zeroth component is the derivative of the first component and the derivative of the first component is uh, uh, and the derivative of, of the first component is dependent on the zeroth component so when we solved this for our physical pendulum, we saw that the period of the ideal pendulum is at a smaller is at a smaller value than the period of the physical pendulum. And in this case, we started with an initial angle of uh, pi over four, um, which is set here in, in y zero. So um, what we're going to try to do here is find the actual period of the solution of our, our physical pendulum, which will be the maximum of our solution here. Um, and so to be able to determine that maximum using our, our methods that, we de that we've used before, uh, we're going to need to um, be able to treat this solution as a continuous function. So in order to do that, we'll need to uh, develop interpolation where we can interpolate and find the values between each of the points where we calculate the um, solution to the differential equation. 